be yourself, Tori. Just be yourself and people will watch this video. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to introduce myself to you guys. I'm going to, um, and I think how I'm going to do that is first I'm going to, you know, obviously say my name, which by the way, my name is Tori. I probably should have led with that. And I'm going to do a couple questions. I actually got tagged in this thing on Tumblr and instead of typing out the response, I'm just going to do this video instead. The inspiration for this video came from last night. I was supposed to be sleeping, but instead I stayed up until 5 a.m. watching Dentonville. <laughs> Whoops. I would best describe my personality as a mix between Will Graham and Dan Howell and maybe like a uh, sloth or something like that. That, yeah, that's me. Maybe once I get comfortable, you know, I have to get to know you first. I have to be comfortable with you and then I can start, like, making jokes. It's just, it's hard because when I record these videos, it just feels like I'm talking to myself. Um, I wanted to start off with a crazy story, just as an introduction. I don't know, just something... I don't know what that was supposed to mean, this. Just something different, I guess. Just start with a weird story and then go into the basic questions. It's basically, the, the story is... Uh, the time an ostrich decided to chomp on my nip-nop. Yeah, that's pretty much the entire story. Um, I went to the petting zoo with my friend and her boyfriend because I'm a professional third wheel. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, just... But anyways, I went to the zoo and um, we were walking through and we saw this little like petting zoo type area that had um, like baby animals and stuff. And there was like a, I think like an alpaca and like, uh, I don't know what else there was. All I remember was there was this ostrich and me and my friend were like standing near the fence and we're just kind of like checking it out and like the ostrich starts walking over to us and I'm like, oh cool, it's like getting really close and stuff and then it's like literally right here, like there's a fence and I'm like standing right at the fence and the ostrich is like right there and the ostrich just goes, and bites me right in the tit like literally I got bit on the boob by an ostrich and my friend just starts cracking up and I so wish that it was recorded because I was mortified it was so embarrassing I I don't even know if anyone else noticed but like I was like oh my god I just got sexually harassed by an ostrich so yeah that will forever be scarred into my mind and I kind of wish that I got it on tape just I mean how ridiculous is that like who gets bit in the boob by an ostrich ostrich biting nip nop is pretty up there so I'm gonna start with the basic questions first and then I'll answer some of these weird questions I guess okay, so the first question is how old are you I am 20 years old and I will be 21 very soon so I may or may not have some alcohol stories but if I do talk about any of that just know that they're not that they didn't actually happen there's stuff that's going to happen in the future okay, that, was the, that was the most stupid joke I could oh my god I'm like I'm a walking pile of trash pay no attention to that I'll edit that out <laughs> what's your current job I'm actually a student right now and Mm. University, um, but whenever, ugh, when, whenever, whenever, whenever I am not at school, I work at a beer distributor. Yeah, so I, I sell beer to people, even though I can't drink it. What am I talented at? Um, I like to write. My dream is to be a screenwriter. I am pretty talented at drinking coffee, which, you yeah, know, basic white girl. At least it's not pumpkin spice. Not that I don't drink that too, but... Kind of singing. I used to be pretty good at it, and my voice changed, and now it's like, eh, and I don't sing a whole lot anymore, but I guess uh, I like to draw. I'm like, I'm like one of those people that's good at a lot of stuff, but not great at anything. And I think where um, I succeed in writing, I fail in speaking, which is why my videos are always so boring. Like me, please! What is your big girl? What is your big girl? What is my big girl? Um, 
Now, what is, what is the big goal I am working towards or have already achieved? Well, I have achieved... Uh, I kind of want to move out of the country, and not just because Donald Trump is president, but, you know. Uh, that's really it. I'm not really a very ambitious person, which is kind of sad. I'm just very lazy. What's my aesthetic? Um, rainy days, um, winter, twinkly lights, snow, uh, the smell of books. Not that I do much reading anymore, because I'm always distracted by my computer. Coffee, the smell of coffee, and like coffee shop aesthetic, I guess. Do you collect anything? Shame. What's a topic you can always talk about? Any of the shows I'm into, um, I like to talk about the universe and how life came to exist because I have like some crazy theories and maybe I'll make a video about that. Like I have some weird theories about how the universe came to be. There's so many stars! My- oh and memes. Occasionally memes. Good advice to give. Um, that's such a vague question. Good advice to give. Like, advice about what? Life? Because I don't know what I'm doing. How am I supposed to give you life advice? I guess when you come into college, uh, it can be pretty scary. You know, you can sometimes feel like, you know, you're not, you can't find that place that you fit in. But really all that matters is that you find one or two people that you're close to and make the most of your time. And do stuff you wouldn't have done in high school. Take risks and stuff. Um, you know, don't overdo it. You know, don't, like, don't sleep with, I don't know why this came up, why this is the first thought I had, but don't go sleep with a homeless person. I don't, I don't know. That's, <laughs> sleep with all the homeless people you want to sleep with, you know, it's, it's none of my business. But yeah, just take risks, you know, you don't have parents here to tell you not to go out in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. and go to the intramural fields and roll around in the grass and tangle yourself up in the soccer net. Take risks, I guess. That's literally the most boring advice I could give you. Like, you haven't already heard that five million times. If an ambulance is on its way to save someone and it runs someone over, does it stop to help them? <laughs> um, yeah, I would assume so. I mean, no, wait. I mean, yes, but then they probably have to call in and dispatch another ambulance, I think. So then you'd have, like... But what if that ambulance hits the other ambulance because it went the same direction and then you have this huge pile up of ambulances and the person dies before any ambulances get there and then, yeah. Hmm. How do you handcuff a one-armed man? You handcuff him to a rock? I don't know. How would he commit a crime? Like, what crime is the one-armed man committing? Is he, like, uh, He's holding up a bank or something, and he has a gun and no other arm. Like, I mean, he can't be that hard to, like... Like, what crime is this one-armed man committing that he needs to be handcuffed in the first place? Is it still illegal to park next to a fire hydrant even if your car is on fire? Why would you be driving your car while it's on fire? <laughs> Some of these questions just sound like questions that I came up with when I was, like, 12 and I went through my emo kid phase, or, like, scene kid phase that I'm still in. <laughs> it wasn't a phase, mom. It's who I am! What the hell? The first question is, what CD is in your CD player right now? Who has a CD player anymore? When were, when were these questions posted? 2001? Oh yeah, that's such a weird question. Are you a dog person or a cat person? Whoa, don't get too crazy on me. Holy crap. I'm a cat person, by the way. What's a word that rhymes with test? Best. What were you doing at midnight last night? I was in the library. Uh, on Tumblr. <laughs> Not doing work. I just finished my homework and I was looking at memes. Where's your nearest 7-Eleven? Why would anyone care? Why? Yes, questions to ask when you first meet someone. Hey, where's your nearest 7-Eleven? Do you like someone? No. Maybe Dan. <laughs> I have multiple celebrity crushes, like, um, what's it called? Um, Danielle Harris, Jensen Ackles' wife, also Jensen Ackles, um, obviously Misha, uh, Hugh Dancy.
But no, no one in real life. I hate everybody. That wasn't meant to be like a tea sipping thing. It was just meant to, I don't want my coffee to get cold. But yeah, I guess, I guess that's really it. I don't want to keep droning on. This is no, in no way meant to set a precedent for my next couple of videos. Maybe I'll come up with some weird skit, some ideas. I don't know, give me suggestions. Ask me questions for other videos like this. Tell me what to do. For now, uh, click subscribe if you want to see fan videos or whatever, or if you want to see more of these, like the video, I guess.